hello and welcome in, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to do uh, what do I need to know right now. So this is just a general reading for the collective. Um, and if you can see the title, so the title I do after the reading. So if you're drawn to the title, it means there's something in here for you. But it's a collective reading, collective timeless reading. Um, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, so let's just see what comes up. I'm going to get a few oracle cards. Um, I'm just going to tune in to your energy. All the cards have been shuffled already. Um, and then we'll see what comes up. Just get one the wisdom of the oracle uh, card deck. And whispers of love. Let me get one of these as well. Okay. Okay, so we've got yin and demonstrate your love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Okay, and let's see what the uh, let's see what the cards say. Okay, wow. All right, so we've got two aces off the bat and the hierophant. Okay, so. Okay, we've got some decisions to make. Okay, we've got some really big decisions to make. So straight away, yeah. So you've got aces and you've got a death card, which tells me you've got some really big decisions to make and we've got some big changes on their way. Let me just find out what this is about. Oof. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you're talking about massive endings here. All right, this is beautiful. Okay. Now, I'm sensing this is in the area of work. Um, it could be in the area of love, but take, like I said, take what resonates. Um, I say that because of the cards that came up when I was shuffling. Um, so had a lot around, essentially, I, I feel like a lot of um, trying to kid myself about what I'm what I'm really able to do yeah so there is a sense where I feel like there's a, a feeling where you're working very hard working towards your goals um potentially in a job in a situation doing a, a project doing something that just doesn't really actually set you alight just doesn't really satisfy you and there's a kind of kidding yourself about um about being able to do that. So there's this kind of thought of like, yeah, no, no, I can do it. I, I, I like sort of carrying on doing it, even though you don't really want to. Um, and so I feel like what's coming out, I feel like this is the, the additional story to that, yeah? So, fresh energy, fresh ideas, aces, new beginnings, new start. Also, you know, aces are always divine, particularly with the Hierophant here, yeah? This is like a divine, something's, something's come in inspiration and it's interesting because you've got yin here and then demonstrate your love so i feel like something's happened whether and you know it could very well be you know we've had two years in this pandemic and you know it's it's essentially feeling like oh like learning again like what's important like and learning about your well-being your rest kind of feeling like you don't have to keep pushing all the time so i feel like somehow this divine um, knowledge has come in and that's kind of shifted the perspective yeah and definitely I feel like more aware like more on like higher thing like higher ideals yeah so more kind of thinking more about um 
you know, um, yeah, just like higher ideals, the good life, like, what do I really want? Like, rather than just kind of feeling like being in this rat race and just kind of being like doing, there's, there was some poor, there was some pause, there was a moment of rest, there was a moment of pause, and there was a moment of time where you got to reassess. And I feel like, I don't feel like you expected this to come in. I don't feel like you would have expected to have been inspired in this way yeah um and then new ideas fresh things about actually what makes me happy what do i want to do what where do i want to go has come in and they feel more like higher ideals is how i would say with the hierophant here but what that's led to is some decisions to make yeah because we've got the old life still lingering and then we've got the new life. And then here I see you like sort of juggling, but you've got the Queen of Swords right in the middle. So that tells me, you know, you really have to be very decisive here. So if there's any part of you that's being a bit like, ah, ah, especially with the death card on the other side, because you're, 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 I, I, I would imagine if I was in your shoes, I would be feeling like, yeah, that's a big change. Yeah. And, you know, you're thinking, oh, maybe I can, maybe I can keep some bits and leave other bits. And I really feel like this is like a real shift. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I feel like the cards are saying, you know, really be decisive, particularly with that Ace of Swords. And then in line with that Hierophant, um, the Hermit, sorry. Um, you know, you've got like a real, that's like real, like, I know, I've like gone in on myself, I've tuned in, I absolutely know. So really get in touch with that really like clear um, part of yourself, real, um, your real, your real feelings about this, yeah? Without all the noise, without all the shoulds and shouldn'ts, without all the what I should or shouldn't do, yeah? And, and then be decisive about it. That that feels very, very important here, very decisive. If you're a bit sort of like, uh, meh, 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 maybe, maybe not, maybe not, you know, like it, it feels like actually what, what needs to happen is a, is a decision. I see here straight away, decision, decide, yeah? And then go for it. Um, and it's gonna clear a lot away, but actually I feel like this is incredibly positive. Like you've got the sun coming up in the, at the back of the death card here. Yeah, so that's sort of like clearing away, something fresh is coming in. You already know this because the new knowledge is coming in. We're gonna grow something new. And um, and then also even with the 10 of swords, that's endings, that's like absolute endings, like absolutely starting from scratch. It's like raising the ground, yeah? And then the hermit is like this real cultivation of what, I really want who am I really who am I really and what direction do I need to be going in and really asking yourself those questions um, and then opening out to a new world let me just clarify the world here let me just see what we got here right yes oh lovely I like this so I don't normally take the cards upside down because uh, it's the three of swords <laughs> we're gonna take it upside down either way it doesn't matter yeah right well that's nice well, that's lovely. So we've got love coming in. Beautiful. Um, okay, so I, I'll turn them upside down. So we've got a love story here coming into the world. So yeah, so what we what we really, really, really need to do is, is leave behind a lot of, I wanna say like struggle mentality, yeah? This idea that I have to struggle, I have to like, it has to hurt to, to get somewhere like in order for it to be good I've got to like endure some like difficulty or some pain it's like yin is like you know it's the feminine principle it's coming into the path of least resistance it's allowing things to come to you it's allowing yourself to receive this is a very receptive energy um and I feel like particularly with this um with the uh whispers of uh um whispers of love oracle here the demonstrate your love and it's like, find out what's important to the people you love and act on it. So it, this is also, I feel like this is, is for you. It's kind of like, find out what's important to you. Find out what's, what makes you tick, what makes you feel loved. What's like, so this is a very soft, like very nurturing feminine energy, yeah? And I feel like you would have been in this energy when, oh, some new ideas about, you know, how things should be in your life um have emerged yeah and now we've got some decisions to make 
and it really does feel like, I mean, you've got two aces and then essentially the major arcana of a death card, the major death card, and then you've got the minor arcana of a death card. You've got one, two, three, four uh, major arcanas here. So this is quite big. This is where you're going is somewhere big, yeah? So what we're leaving behind a lot of like, like I just want to say like, like making do, yeah? Like a lot of making do, making do, making do. Like, with, yeah, it kind of works, kind of doesn't, but it's sort of making do, yeah? Leaving that behind and sort of feeling like that's part of the, the you know, that's part of the what you want to attain is like this, you know, that you have to struggle for it. Well, you know, it's never, not things, things are never perfect. But actually, you know, what, what, what's, what's, what's coming when, when you open up this new world, yeah? when you really make this decision, and I really do feel like that's very, very important to highlight, this will be your decision, yeah? You have to make a decision to, to make this come into fruition. You've had the ideas, you've had the inspiration, it's divinely guided, yeah? And you're kind of still here going, uh, is it like, uh, like, is it that? Like, am I kidding myself, yeah? And it's like, no, don't kid yourself, right? Get in line, get aligned, you know the answers and then be very decisive and make decisions based on that, yeah? And that's where you're heading towards, something really new, brand new. So here, leaving behind, three of swords and single life. So if you are single, um, then this is, this. I see a relationship here. So we've got a king and a queen coming up here and an ace of pentacles. So this is like real, another ace, yeah? Like three aces on the board. Like this is really, really pushing you know, and it doesn't surprise me, we're, you know, we're in spring, even though this is a timeless reading, the moment, the time that I've done this reading is during um, springtime, um, the beginning of summer, like, this is, like, all the, like, you know, even in nature, everything is growing, and it's fresh, and it's new, so this is really a really good time, it's also the year of partnership, for obviously, it's a sixth year, um, so this is a year of partnership as well, um, If you're if you're not single, if you or, or are already in a relationship, then it feels like this this is a big transformation in the relationship, yeah. So this will be something. This is this is a massive turnaround. So if there's been difficulties in the relationship, this feels like we're heading towards more stability, yeah, more um, more harmony and more stability. Um, Also, this could this could be a um, you know talking about a three party situation. So it could be there's two women here and there's a male here in the middle. He's looking at the nine of pentacles and the queen of cups is looking at him. Um, and again, if, if that is your story, if you are in a situation where there's somebody they've turned their back on you and and they're looking at somebody else or they're having a relationship with somebody else or you're trying to have a relationship with somebody that's already in a relationship with somebody else, then again, that just feels like that's all being cleared away, yeah? This is Ace of Pentacles, fresh start, new beginnings, and something real, yeah? Ace of Pentacles is always nice because it's always grounded and it's always real, and it's always, um, you know, it's a positive, and it's always an opportunity as well. It's an opportunity for growth, yeah? The Ace of Pentacles is like an opportunity to go on an adventure, yeah, to do things slightly different. So in all of this read, the takeaway is, this is an invitation, yeah? If you, if there was something you were already thinking of, this is just confirmation of that, of, of the, of, of what, it, what's inspiration is already coming to you. Um, and, but the next stage, the next part of this story is about your decisions and your actions. Yeah. Um, and there's really some some really big clear out. So that might be, you know, of your space, clear out your space. It might be moving. It might be, um, you know, shifting your job or your work pattern, um, even, you know, your diet or something like something like a, a tangible shift in your area, in your life, in your space. Um, people could be people. um. And remember, this has come from difficulty. You know, three of swords, ten of swords, there's difficulty. There has been difficulty. 
Um, and we want to be moving into something more stable, more harmonious. Um, but there's a decision that has to be made here about leaving leaving that struggle mind behind, particularly with this yin card. You know, allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to receive, giving yourself permission to relax, giving yourself permission um, to take your foot off the pedal, yeah? To, 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 to disconnect from the story that says, in order for me to get good things, I have to struggle for it and I have to hurt for it, yeah? That's not the story here. So there's a shift in the mindset, which I feel like that's a realisation that's already occurred. But the next part of this is actually to, to make some actions and, and, and do some, you know, to make a decision and be decisive and stick with it, commit to it. Particularly with the Hierophant, it's about, commit, you know, committing to that path and sticking with it. Anything else? I just think... The next chapter, I think there's a lot more I could say here about what's coming into the next chapter. Um, but I think this is where the area of focus is. So just know why you're doing it. There's harmony, stability, possibly, you know, new relationship, new love coming as well. Um, you know, but we, but first of all, I think the, the, the priority here, the energy is around this shift, yeah? And then like locking that in, once you're at the world card, that's it, locked in, new world new chapter yeah ace of pentacles three aces incredible what's in the bottom two of swords so another two yeah so you're still in this kind of um uh, mm, uh you know and and that yin also is like you know so do any like any practices that allow you to come into that receptive energy so that's like a kind of restorative practice restorative yoga meditation like kind of like a hot bath or spa or even just lots of sleep, like whatever it may be, even, you know, walk in the park um, without music, without headphones, or, you know, just to really, really, you know, be receptive, yeah, receive um, the wisdom from, from divine, yeah, because I feel like you already know, that's what I'm seeing here, you already know, um, but where we, where we like, ah, 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 is, is about whether or not you, dis, you know, you, you decide on it, you, you make a decision um, and commit to it, um, and I feel like the cards here are definitely saying commit, decide, do, and, you know, a new world is, is opening out. Um, so yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching and, um, do like, subscribe, leave your comments and, um, yeah, just let me know if there's any other questions that you want me to answer. I do pick a card. Um, as well so just let me know if there's any questions you want me to do in the pick a card reading and I'll see you again next time thank you and goddess